Molly says, I don't need a good protector provider. Gross stereotypes. I love being with my husband because he is true, good, kind, funny, good dad and son. I'm so happy for you, girl. And you do you, boo. Okay, I come on here and talk about what I need and what I like. And I talk about a good protector and a good provider. I'm not necessarily meaning maybe what you think. Uh, a good provider doesn't necessarily mean that they're a millionaire like my husband was, my ex-husband. A good provider is just someone who helps provide for the family in every way, whether that's financially, whether that's helping to cook dinner, whether that's cleaning, whether that's providing transportation for the kids, their sports and stuff like that. A provider in every way. And a protector doesn't necessarily mean a man who's standing at the door with a shotgun, you know, a protector is someone who just makes you feel safe physically and emotionally. And it's the emotion. I mean, like we're not living back in the 1400s where we really need a, a man physically to keep us safe. I sleep with my shotgun when my kids are gone. I sleep with my shotgun in bed with me and my nine millimeter pistol. So I pretty much can handle that myself. But it makes me feel safe and protected with my emotions. I can come to him and talk to him about anything and everything, which I pretty much have. I think he pretty much knows everything about me, but time will tell. The bottom line is women want to be in relationships with men, if they're straight, who make them feel safe in all the ways. Safe. And we make them feel safe. So you can uh, interpret protector and provider however you want, and you can describe that to your partner however it means to you. But how it means to me might be different than someone else. But thank you for letting me explain that. <laughs>